This historic drought here in the West is at a new low. In fact, this video shows it right here. The federal government has declared the Colorado River water shortage to be the worst on record. And the nation's largest reservoir, Lake Mead, that connects with the Colorado River, it is at its lowest water level as well. Look how dry all of this is. Water used to be well above that. CBS 8's Dana Marie McNichol joining us now with details on how this will impact the West and us here in San Diego. Dana Marie. Well, in response to this announcement, we've been working for you to figure out exactly how this would impact San Diego's water supply. So I just spoke to an expert who told me that the work that we've been doing in this area over the last 10 years to conserve has put us in a really good position. With that being said, though, their main message is to conserve. This is about the lowest that we've seen, obviously, since the reservoirs have been filled, the two key reservoir levels, right? We've been in a drought for um, a couple of decades on the river. This is going to be the new norm in the future. So efficient water use is the new norm. Now we just heard from Kelly Rogers, the director of the Colorado River program with the San Diego County Water Authority, who tells us that right now the Water Authority has not been asked to make any voluntary reductions to the Colorado River supply to our area, although Arizona, Nevada and Mexico will face water reductions. She says investments by San Diego County residents and other water sources and storage facilities will continue to shield our region from the worst effects of the drought. Projects like Congress concrete lining sections of the All-American and Coachella canals to conserve water previous loss to seepage, as well as paying farmers in Imperial Valley to conserve water, provides a San Diego County region 277,000 acre feet of highly reliable, cost-effective, conserved water supply each year. Now, due to these historic low water levels, unprecedented investments in drought resilience and water management was announced by President Biden's bipartisan infrastructure law, which makes a historic $8.3 billion in investment to address water and drought challenges and also invest in our nation's western water and power infrastructure, rebuilding our existing projects to withstand a changing hydrology. So here at San Diego, again, the main message is we've done a lot of great work. We need to continue to do that as well as receive more federal funding to do those projects here. They said a couple of things you can conserve at home, take shorter showers, reduce irrigation, and also, uh, you know, fancier plants. Maybe think about planting a succulent as well as uh, conserve water supplies for every single year as you can. So any further information, oecbs8.com is a great resource.